we want to simplify the given expressions. An expression is not considered simplified if it contains negative exponents. So looking at the first expression, we have two divided by m raised to the power of negative nine. We need to rewrite this so that the power on m is not negative. So if we take m to the power of negative nine and move it up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. The property we're applying here is given at the bottom. One divided by a to the power of negative m equals a raised to the power of m. So notice in fraction form, this would be over one. So this is equal to two times m raised to the power of positive nine. Our denominator would be one, but of course we don't need that. We can get our next expression. Notice we can simplify inside the parentheses. There's a common factor of seven here, or 21 divided by seven is equal to three. So this is equal to three divided by m raised to the power of negative two. To show a little work here, 21 is equal to seven times three. Seven m is equal to seven times m. Seven divided by seven simplifies the one, leaving us with three divided by m. There's a couple ways to show the next step. Looking inside the parentheses, I'm gonna think of this as three to the first divided by m to the first. And so because we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So this would be equal to three to the power of negative two divided by m to the power of negative two. And now to make the exponents positive, we'd move the three to the negative two down to the denominator and the m to the negative two up to the numerator. So this would be equal to m to the power of positive two or m squared divided by three to the power of positive two or three squared. And of course, three squared is equal to nine. So we have m squared divided by nine. I also should have mentioned at this point here, we have the option of using this exponent rule as well. Looking at our next expression, notice how we have y to the seventh in the numerator, which we can think of as one y to the seventh. So we could write this as one seventh. And then because we have y to the seventh divided by y to the negative six, we're dividing in the bases of the same, so we would subtract the exponents. So we would have y raised to the power of seven minus negative six. This would be one seventh y to the seven plus six or thirteenth power. So our expression is simplified and it is correct, but we can also write it as, if we wanted to, y to the thirteenth divided by seven. These two expressions are equivalent. And for our last example, the bases are the same and we're dividing, so we subtract the exponents. So we'd have p raised to the power of negative six minus negative nine, which becomes plus nine. So negative six plus nine is equal to three. This simplifies very nicely to p to the third. So all of our expressions are now simplified. I hope you found this helpful.